How do you create a pattern that's intelligent when you make a change to the overall length that it's smart enough to update accordingly? Coming up. Hey, this is Tyler Beck. I got a question on the channel about if I want to build a pattern that's based off of the overall length of the part or some maybe overall dimension, how can I build it to update accordingly? So let's run through that today. First, we'll begin by creating a really simple part and doing a pattern. Start by doing a sketch on the top plane, throwing some dimensions. Now, I'm going to put my first dimension in as 10, and this is going to be my D1, or first dimension of the whole part. Uh, throw in a value for the other thing. This is the basic plate that we're dropping in, and we'll give it a depth. Now, when I made this, it's probably worth noting that when you look at this sketch dimension, if you hover over it, it'll show you that it's the value is 10 inches, but it's D1. So maybe just make a mental note of that dimension you care about, or if it is the overall length of the part, find that dimension. It might be D3 or D10, whatever. You can go in and add parameters, but let's just keep it simple and keep that dimension in mind. Maybe write that down. All right, so now that we're going to start a new sketch, I'm going to do in a slot. I'll type in S, use that to find what I'm looking for, drag in a slot feature or sketch entity, and then I hit Q on my keyboard and extrude this up. Give it a little depth. Great. So that's a brand new feature. When I look at the history, I did a sketch, extruded that, did another sketch, and extruded the slot. What I'd like to do is pattern that slot. Use my S key for searching, and I'll find pattern and find rectangular pattern. How do I want to pattern this? If you've seen my pattern video, I'm a big fan of using features. So I go choose features as what I want to pattern. The feature itself is that last extrude on the tree. Choose that and then what direction? I'm patterning along this line and I want, how many do I want? Well, let's say that we want um, eight. Eight of these instances evenly spaced on the part. You can see that right now it's set up to do it um, two inches uh, between those values. So this is extent versus spacing. So if you want to do center to center and they're one inch apart, let's put that in. But what we want to do is the total extent, but we want it to be intelligent. I want this value to always be related to the overall length. The overall length was D1, so type in D1, and boom, it's overall length. We're basically done. Now, what I want to do is build in a little bit of room. Since, you know, D1 is the total length, it looks like it's going to go a full 10 inches, putting one of them off the part. That's not what I wanted. I want to build in some kind of uh, some clearance there, some uh, bring them back a little bit, right? So I'll subtract maybe an inch and a half or subtract 10% or whatever that value would help me keep it with well within that working area. So I'll hit OK and there we go. Let's test it. Go over to find the original sketch, that D1, and maybe make this three times. We'll make it 30. And so what I expect when I update is that I'll have those eight instances spread over 30 inches. And that's what it looks like I got, right? And maybe I need to play with that and do a percentage for that clearance at the end. But hopefully that answers the question of how do I do a pattern that relates to the overall length or width or depth or whatever that we're working on in a part. Thanks for watching.